Have you ever looked down at the toilet bowl and noticed a strange color in your urine? Maybe it was unusually clear, deep amber, or even a shade of pink or green. It might seem like a small, insignificant detail, but the truth is, the color of your urine can reveal a lot about what's happening inside your body. From dehydration to kidney problems, and even certain diseases, your urine's color is like a daily health check that most of us don't think about. What if your body is trying to tell you something important? Could ignoring it lead to bigger issues? In this video, we will reveal to you what each color of urine means, when you should be concerned, and how to actually fix it if there's a problem. By the end of this, you'll never look at your toilet bowl the same way again. So, without any further ado, let's get started. What is urine and how it works? Before we get into the different possible colors of urine, let's talk about what urine actually is. Urine is a waste product created by your kidneys, which act like your body's filtration system. They remove excess water, toxins, and waste from your blood, and then from that, you get urine. Healthy urine is typically a pale yellow color, thanks to a pigment called urochrome, which is produced when your body breaks down hemoglobin. However, what you may not know here is that urine is much more than just waste leaving your body. It's a snapshot of your overall health. The color, clarity, and even the smell of your urine can change depending on what you've eaten, how much water you've consumed, medications you're taking, or underlying health conditions. So, understanding what's normal and what's not is the first crucial step to decoding these silent signals your body sends every day. The color breakdown. Let's now dive into a detailed breakdown of what each urine color means and what it could indicate about your health. Number one, clear urine. When your urine looks clear like water, you might think you're doing great, but you could actually be overhydrating. While hydration is essential, overdoing it can lead to a condition called hyponatremia, where the sodium levels in your blood become dangerously low. This is rare but can be serious, causing symptoms like nausea, headaches, and even confusion. This clear urine is common in people who drink excessive amounts of water, use diuretics, or consume large quantities of caffeine. If your urine is consistently clear, try cutting back slightly on water intake and see if it returns to a pale yellow shade. If it doesn't, it might be worth discussing with your doctor to rule out any underlying issues, such as diabetes insipidus, which is a condition that affects your body's ability to regulate fluids. Number two, pale yellow urine. Pale yellow urine is the ideal color and indicates that you're well hydrated and your kidneys are functioning properly. The pale yellow shade means there's a healthy balance of water and waste products in your urine. This color comes from that urochrome we talked about earlier, and it's exactly what you want to see most of the time. If your urine is this color, congratulations, you're doing everything right. Keep drinking water regularly and maintain a balanced diet to stay in this optimal zone. Number three, bright neon yellow urine. Bright yellow or neon yellow urine can be startling, but it's usually harmless. This vibrant color is often caused by excess B vitamins, particularly vitamin B2 or riboflavin, which your body doesn't fully absorb. If you've recently taken a multivitamin or energy drink, this is likely the reason behind the neon hue. While it's not a cause for concern, it's a good reminder that your body only needs a certain amount of vitamins, and excess amounts are simply excreted in your urine. If you're not taking supplements and your urine is consistently bright yellow, it might be worth checking your diet or consulting a healthcare professional to ensure there's no underlying issue. Number 4. Dark Yellow or Amber Urine Dark yellow or amber urine is a classic sign of dehydration. When you're not drinking enough water, your kidneys conserve fluids, making your urine more concentrated and darker in color. This is your body's way of telling you to drink more water. Mild dehydration can cause fatigue, dry mouth, and headaches, so it's important to address it immediately. If you're consistently seeing dark yellow urine, try increasing your water intake and monitoring how your body responds. In some cases, dark urine can also be caused by certain medications like chloroquine and primaquine, which are used to treat or prevent malaria. Antibiotics are another common culprit. Medications such as nitrofurantoin, often prescribed for urinary tract infections, and metronidazole, used for bacterial and parasitic infections, may also lead to darker urine. 
Certain foods and beverages can also contribute to darker urine, either by concentrating the color or introducing pigments. For instance, dehydrating foods like those high in salt or protein can make your urine more concentrated and darker. Examples include processed meats, salty snacks, and high-protein diets, which can increase the workload on your kidneys and reduce water content in your urine. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number 5. Orange urine. Orange urine can be alarming, but it's often tied to dietary choices or medications. Foods like carrots, sweet potatoes, and beets contain pigments that can temporarily turn your urine orange. Medications such as rifampin, an antibiotic, or finazoparidine, used to treat urinary tract infections, are also common culprits. However, if you're not eating these foods or taking these medications, orange urine could indicate a more serious issue, such as liver or bile duct problems. Conditions like jaundice, which causes yellowing of the skin and eyes, can also lead to orange urine. If you notice this color and can't attribute it to diet or medication, it's important to see a doctor for further evaluation. Number 6. Pink or red urine. Pink or red urine can be shocking, but it's not always a sign of something serious. Certain foods like beets, blackberries, and rhubarb contain pigments that can turn your urine red or pink. This is completely harmless and usually resolves within a day or two. However, if you haven't eaten these foods, red or pink urine could indicate the presence of blood, a condition known as hematuria. Blood in the urine can be caused by a variety of issues, including urinary tract infections, kidney stones, or even more serious conditions like kidney disease or bladder cancer. If you notice red or pink urine and can't link it to your diet, it's crucial to talk to a doctor immediately to determine the cause. Number 7. Brown or cola-colored urine. Brown or cola-colored urine is often a sign of severe dehydration, but it can also indicate liver or kidney problems. When your body is extremely dehydrated, your urine becomes highly concentrated, leading to a dark brown color. However, brown urine can also be caused by conditions like hepatitis or cirrhosis, which affect liver function. Liver problems often show up as brown urine because your body isn't processing bilirubin correctly. In rare cases, it can be a symptom of rhabdomyolysis, which is a serious condition where muscle tissue breaks down and releases proteins into the bloodstream. This can lead to kidney damage if not treated promptly. If your urine is brown, doesn't improve with hydration, and you're experiencing symptoms like fatigue, abdominal pain, or changes in stool color, seek medical attention immediately. Number 8. Blue or green urine. These unusual colors are rare, but can happen due to certain foods, dyes, or medications. For example, the drug amitriptyline or the dimethylene blue can turn your urine blue or green. Artificial coloring in candies or drinks might also result in a greenish hue, while medications like propofol or amitriptyline can create blue urine. Some bacterial infections, particularly those caused by Pseudomonas bacteria, can also lead to green urine. In very rare cases, blue or green urine can be a sign of a genetic condition called familial hypercalcemia, which affects calcium levels in the body. Number 9. Cloudy or foamy urine. While not technically a color, the appearance of persistently foamy or cloudy urine deserves attention. Think of how soap makes bubbles. Proteins in your urine can do the same thing. Occasional foam isn't concerning, just like how a strong urine stream might create temporary bubbles. However, if your urine consistently looks like a freshly poured beer, complete with lasting foam, it might indicate excess protein leaking through your kidneys. This could signal early kidney problems or uncontrolled diabetes. Check out our full video on this condition if you want to learn more about it. Cloudy urine, on the other hand, is often a sign of a urinary tract infection, especially if it's accompanied by a strong odor, pain, or a burning sensation when you pee. UTIs occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract, leading to inflammation and infection. Cloudy urine can also be caused by kidney stones, which form when minerals in your urine crystallize and clump together. When should you worry? Not all unusual urine colors are cause for panic, but knowing when to worry and seek medical attention is crucial. 
If your urine color deviates from pale yellow for more than a day or two and doesn't improve with hydration or diet adjustments, it's time to investigate further. Persistent orange urine, especially if accompanied by symptoms like fatigue, abdominal pain, or yellowing of the skin and eyes, may indicate a liver or bile duct issue that requires immediate evaluation. Similarly, pink or red urine, when not linked to foods or medications, could signal blood in your urine, which is never normal and might indicate infections, kidney stones, or more serious conditions like cancer. Cloudy or milky urine also warrants concern if it's persistent and paired with pain, burning sensations, or an unusual odor, as these could indicate a urinary tract infection or even kidney issues. In addition to color changes, pay attention to accompanying symptoms such as pain during urination, frequent urges to urinate, swelling in your hands or feet, or unexplained fatigue. These signs, combined with abnormal urine color, could point to underlying health problems that need prompt attention. A simple urinalysis or blood test can provide critical insights into the root cause and guide appropriate treatment. How to treat abnormal urine colors. Now that you know what your urine color might mean, let's talk about how to address it. Here's are the most important treatments and lifestyle changes that can help you get back to that healthy pale yellow. Number one, stay hydrated. The simplest and most effective way to maintain healthy urine color is to drink enough water. Aim for about eight glasses a day, but adjust based on your activity level, climate, and overall health. If your urine is dark yellow or amber, it's a clear sign you need to drink more water. Number two, adjust your diet. Items like beets, asparagus, rhubarb, and food dyes can cause pink, red, or even green tints in your urine. By temporarily removing these items and observing changes, you can determine if your diet is the culprit. Number three, practice good urinary hygiene. Always wipe front to back, urinate after sexual activity, and avoid holding your bladder for extended periods. Drinking cranberry juice or taking cranberry supplements can also help reduce the risk of urinary tract infections. Number four, limit suspicious medications. If you notice changes in your urine color and suspect it's linked to medications, it's important to identify which drugs might be causing the shift. Common culprits include antibiotics like rifampin, which can turn urine orange, or nitrofurantoin, which may darken it to a brownish hue. Pain relievers such as phenazepiridine, often used for UTIs, can make urine bright orange or red, while muscle relaxants like methocarbamol might lead to dark brown or greenish tones. Even anti-malarial drugs like chloricon and chemotherapy agents, such as doxorubicin, can alter urine color. While these changes are often harmless, they can sometimes indicate that your body is processing the medication in an unusual way. If you're concerned, consult your doctor, they may adjust your dosage, suggest an alternative, or recommend tests to ensure your kidneys and liver are functioning properly. Number 5. Avoid excessive alcohol and caffeine. Both alcohol and caffeine can dehydrate you, leading to darker urine. Moderation is key to keeping your urine color in the healthy range. At the end, your urine color is like a window into your health, offering clues about hydration, diet, and even potential medical conditions. While most changes are harmless, it's important to pay attention and take action when something seems off. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you ever noticed a strange color in your urine? How did you deal with it? Which urine color mention surprised you the most? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.